Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Mike. I'm studying data science at U Chicago. And as a student, we all need internships to kick our career started. So here today, I'm going to talk about my experience at Nike in the summer 2021 as a data science intern. So hello everybody, um, this is the first day of my internship and then uh, uh, it starts from like 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. but um, it's kind of like the training period and then after that we will have like a, another um, two meetings that scheduled and then uh, to meet in the team and then talk about what everybody do. I'm going to cover like how did I get this internship, the exciting experience during my internship, um, the internship programming and including what I felt from Nike's culture, team and etc. So how did I get my offer from intern in the first place? Um, it was a pretty standardized campus recruiting process. Uh, I applied through my graduate school job board system and then attended Nike's internship Q&A session. Then I got an email to schedule the HR call telling with three interviews with hiring managers from the analytic team. I went through a behavioral round, a technical round and a business sense slash product sense round. Nike is big in storytelling. So all the interviews are all back and forth conversational. So I was expected to tell my story as detailed as I can, whether in a behavioral round or technical round of interviews. Because Nike cares a lot about the culture fit and the personalities as equally as your technicality and the capability in data science. So definitely show your personality and what were unique about you during the interview. At the end, the whole process took about a month before I was called and congratulated that I got the offer. So in the first week, I started off with a one full week onboarding process, participating in online Zoom sessions of icebreakers, um, meeting other interns, the guest speakers, athlete speakers, uh, meeting my teammates and uh, many other teams in the department. As industry leader selling sports apparel, Nike is all about sports and culture. Even though everyone was remote, I feel that we were so lucky that the occurrences of Summer Olympics 2021 in Japan helped alleviate the sports spirits of the internship program into another level. One of the greatest things that Nike internship has given me is that I was arranged with four fixed point of contact who specifically targeting to help new incoming interns to succeed, ask for help, and then making high quality networks. Those four points of contact include, um, first of all, my direct supervisor slash manager, who supervised me and directed me on my project progression. My direct supervisor also played a crucial role that reviews my performances and act as a primary point of contact regarding to this internship. Secondly, I was assigned a mentor who specifically helped me with a technical perspective on my project. My mentor was almost my age, so we get along really well in terms of the communication and the inspirations with the new ideas. He helped me review and modify my code delivery and gave me mostly technical guidances in my approaches, my machine learning models, and a bunch of other analytical tools. Thirdly, interns also have a team director who supervises the whole team and also the most important stakeholders to my project. My team director was a very supportive and helpful person who came to helping me to find and crafting my approaches, my presentation stories, and who is very fun to talk to since he is a British people and he has a very different cultural perspective on different topics, which are very fun to listen to. Fourthly, each intern also got um, assigned with a partner. My partner is a U Chicago MSC alumni. He works for other analytic teams, so he could support intern from a external prospect. A partner is a great person to not only allows intern to ask for more sensitive question related to the company or the job. My partner also was a very great resource for me to get to know more about what his team does uh, within this huge team structure. During the internship, my partner generally provide me with many guidances toward my project, helped me rehearse my presentation, and acted as a super helpful external resources to help me succeed beyond what my own team could provide to me. Additional to the four points of contact for each intern, Nike analytic function also helped arrange many social events with different guest speakers came from not only cross teams, but teams across different geos, such as you know, North American, Greater China, Asian Pacific Islands, um, Europeans, and etc. 
Indeed, during this internship, even with my own analytic team, we have many knowledge sharing sessions, including the Greater China Shanghai team, covering their latest findings and insights reportings that relate to um, Shanghai store. Nike's encouragement on open to chat culture within the whole company from a positive booster to increase communication flows and exchange of ideas. So in detail, Nike encouraged and allows interns to drop one-to-one -one chat with anyone from other teams, such as any directors, VPs, managers, or anyone that um, a Nike who wish to social with. This gave me the freedom to reach out to lots of stakeholders and could potentially get impacted by my project, or I could reach out to the steps from other team, which I could be interested in joining if I were to offer a full-time position later. So I took this advantage to um, spend a lot of my time networking and reaching out to many Nike steps to ask for their opinions on my approaches to my project, or as for support, if there were any codes or templates I could implement on my own project. By reaching out to people, it not only provide me with a lot of indirect guidances to progress on my project, but also inspire me on my own career track by listening to many others' stories on how their career experience was like at Nike, and then before they even joined Nike. During my internship at Nike, my data science project was um, a very like, ambiguous problem at the beginning. During the EDA and the problem statement phase, while we were targeting the uh, relevant features from gigabytes or terabytes of data table, me, my supervisor was trying to figure out what models or methodologies that I could try to come up with in the final solution. Eventually, we decided that it was a labeling problem, which in a way, and supervised learning problem that require lots of patterns and the rules, explorations, then I will try to come up with this algorithm that makes sense on the labels on each observations of the data to the stakeholders. I think the biggest challenge about my project was not only knowing what is the best way to label the data, but also I have to conduct many researches, try a lot of stuff to test my hypothesis, and then document what works and what not works. Therefore, project and the expectation management becomes really important and crucial due to the tight delivery deadlines. Um, since eventually I will have to come up with a solution that I need to present to all the stakeholders and teams and persuade them that my approaches could work. I coded lots of stuff in like a data break. So in order to run terabytes of data with different PySpark or Python SQL functions, I, I will have to time the running of each algorithm before they were output of result. Some of the data were so big, I eventually have to kick it off after work and then run in the data overnight so I could check the result in the morning. Man, the, like the best lesson I have learned are, you know, first of all, if you're running your code on the big data, try to sample the small amount of data that got applied into the code before you could run something really, really big. Secondly, even the code runs well in a smaller sample. Definitely pay attention to the capacities of this uh, cloud platforms when you kick up something really big. Eventually, if the system stopped my code due to the capacity got maxed out, the whole night expectations of running something with the outputs will be wasted. So consider something like multi-thread or parallel processing when you're running something pretty big in Spark. One of the ways to get around of running my tests in a big data environment is to download a certain percentage of data and then run them locally with a Jupyter Notebook or Tableau or Excel. Especially towards the end of my internship, I was validating my methodologies with a lot of visualizations um, that later got selected and inserted into my final presentation. Thirdly, definitely be more you know, selective about the algorithm that you choose to run and make sure to conduct researches on if those algorithms are good in the big Spark dataset. Is the model good for high dimensional datasets or is it computationally expensive, uh, which will take much longer to run? After you select your model to test on, make sure to test them on a smaller dataset. Like for example, when I was selecting the clustering techniques, I should have run those different clustering techniques on smaller samples of datasets and document their performances like the extracted patterns uh, while still be very mindful on the algorithm's consequences when applied to many bigger datasets later. Another one of the exciting things I also did during the internship at Nike um, is the data science hackathon. Around the fifth or the sixth week of my internship, uh, Nike arranged many analytic interns into different groups for a hackathon competition. So we were a team of four competing against another six teams of interns while solving the assigned Nike problem by data science. The hackathon lasted for about one and a half week and it definitely added more tasks on us in turn on top of a current project. 
which kind of stressed the shit out of myself at the beginning. But turns out, and surprisingly, the hackathon was a great way for me to get distracted for a little, away from my own project, since I was kind of stuck in this endless loop of running code and testing different hypotheses to see where it works or not. So thanks to the hackathon, I was able to take my mind 100% off my actual project, like for half a week, and focus on the hackathon before I went back to it. So this switch of a mind actually helped me to make better progressions on my own project after the hackathon. At the end, I got my return full-time offer back to Nike. So super excited. Um, I was very glad that I chose Nike to do my summer internship over other offers. I feel like this, uh, the summer 2021 was very, very short and intense, but it has given me with such a good valuable memories, uh, fun time and the many valuable opportunities to explore further on the retail and the consumer analytic field. Thank you so much again for watching this video. If you like my video and content, please click on the subscribe button and there were more content on the way regarding to my experience at UChicago and in data science. I'll see you next time. Bye.